kid and Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler Boys, Mr. Manning's very busy, as you know, so he's asked me to give a lecture on bayonet practice. So I shall. Now, there's no substitute for the cold steel. They do not like it up em. They don't like it up em. <laughs> I might have mentioned that to you before, but... Uh, many times. Many, many times. <laughs> you can say that again, Taffy. Thanks. Silence in the ranks. I will not have speaking while I'm speaking. Now, put that cigarette up, Private Walker. Now, a very important item to remember is the scream. That certainly puts the wind up the enemy. That is performed by taking a deep breath in the lung. And... <laughs> like that now. Now, I want you all to scream now. Deep breath and... Hold it! <laughs> now, Mr Godfrey, you're the medical order. I don't think you ought to do any screaming. Go and put the kettle on. I'd like to remain, if I may, Mr Jones. I, I'd rather like to do some screaming. Oh, all right, then. Right, well... Here we go, boys. One big scream and... <laughs> what a terrible noise. What on earth's going on out there? Bayonet practice. Oh, I see. Well, can't they do it uh, just a little bit more quietly? Well, of course they can't do it quietly. This is Action Wilson. Oh, I see. Action with a capital A. Is that what it is? Oh. Yes, I wouldn't mind seeing some action from you, a bit of screaming. Yes, well, somehow I don't think screaming is quite my style, sir. Sometimes I wonder just exactly what is your style, Wilson. Yeah, well, uh, See who that is, please. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, who is it? Ah, thank you very much indeed. Oh, yes, it's for you, sir. It's from, uh, from Gills, the tailor. Oh, oh, splendid. Oh, thank you. Oh, splendid. I've been waiting for this. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's arrived just in time for the parade. Oh, really? What parade? Ceremonial church parade. On Sunday. We've been discussing this for weeks. Oh, yes, of course we have, yes. What do you think of it? Hmm. What about think of what? My hat, of course. What? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. I think it's awfully nice, sir. Yes. <laughs> now, when you obeyed it in this dummy, Pikey, I want you to imagine that is Mr. Hitler himself in person, right, boy? Now then, I want to hear you scream. Come on. Scream. Uh... Come on, come on, come on. That is right, bandaging and screaming at Mr. Hitler in person in your own time. Go! Now! That's the way for the first time on the plane. Sorry, Mr. Manning. I'm uh, Mr. Dummy, and I, I couldn't stop myself. You stupid boy, look at my hat! <laughs> look at the hole. Was your head in it? <laughs> you did that with your bandit. Hello? I've got to stop the life uh, of this out of your way. Did you uh, understand? Awfully oh, nice to hear your voice. Today. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Yes, he's here, yes. It's your wife, sir. What? Your wife. Tell her I'm not here. I'm sorry, <laughs> sir, but uh, uh, she heard you shouting, you see. <laughs> really? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth? <laughs> yes? Well, the fact is, dear, that I just can't stand sleeping with you anymore in the shelter. <laughs> what? I, but there hasn't been an air raid in months, and it's very uncomfortable. No, no, of course I didn't wait till you'd got out to, to, to remove the bedding from the shelter. I, don't stand gawping there, boy, get out. <laughs> what? No, no, I wasn't talking to you. I, well, no, of course I can't come and put it back. Not now. I shan't be dismissing this parade for at least half an hour. What? Oh, very well. Would you dismiss the parade, please, sir? Uh, yes, of course I will, sir. 
<laughs> don't, we don't get any more nasty accidents. Let's push this up the other end of the hall. Come on. Steady with it. Steady. Captain Square. Adam. Adam. Up. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Corporal. Yes, sir. Captain Mainwaring, anywhere about? I'll go and fetch him. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll breeze in, I'll just breeze in. I say, that's the most impressive row of medals you've got there. Thank you, sir. I'm very proud of them. <laughs> and so you should be, my man, so you should be. Do you realise that you are carrying on your chest an illuminated history of the British Empire? Very sound, very sound. Good man. Right, carry on, Parkins. Come in. <laughs> Captain Square to see oh, you, sir. <laughs> oh, good evening, sir, good evening. Good evening, Sergeant. Good evening. Good evening. This is Sergeant Parkins, my butler. Ah. Rotten Sergeant, damn good butler. <laughs> now, is uh, Captain Main wearing anywhere about? I'm afraid not, sir. He's just gone home. But... Well, I won't stay very long in that case. Right. All right, Parkins. <laughs> Prepare to sit. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, the reason I call yes. is to find out whether Captain Main wearing ever received some battalion orders I sent out. Oh, what orders? About the medals. What medals? Why do you keep repeating everything I say? What's the matter with you, There's man? nothing that matters to me at all, sir, but I, I just can't quite follow your drift. Oh, I see, I see. Well, <clears throat> a week or so ago, yeah. when I was the acting adjutant, yeah. I sent out battalion orders mm -hmm. about the forthcoming ceremonial church parade, in which I said that all uh, decorations and medals would be worn. And so far, Captain Mainwaring has not acknowledged it. Well, we didn't get it. My dear Phil, you must have got it. We that about ten days ago, isn't it, Parkins? Most definitely, sir. Cook delivered it personally. Well, I, I can assure you we didn't get it. Now, wait a minute. Oh dear, yes, yes, I do remember now. Yes, I was going through some of the... Yes, that's right. I was going through some of the papers with, uh, with Captain Mannering, and he put one of them in this drawer, and when I asked him what it was, he said it was nothing important. Well, have a look at the drawer. Well, I can't do that. Well, different. of course you can. He's left you in charge, hasn't he? Well, yes, but I don't think it's quite right somehow. But it seems such a strange thing for him to do, really. Most unlike him, you know. He's so meticulous. Ah, uh, well, uh, there it is, I think. No, it isn't. This is it. Yes, that. Well, I'll soon tell you. I'll soon tell you. Yes, of course it is, of course it is, of course it is. On the forthcoming ceremonial church parade on Sunday the 21st, all decorations and medals will be worn. Signed, Captain Square, acting adjutant, pompous idiot. <laughs> pompous idiot? <laughs> Who the devil wrote that? No, 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 sir, it, it, really, it, it wasn't me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The penny's beginning to drop. <laughs> During the last shindig, I was with... Uh, Lawrence, in the desert, <laughs> fighting Johnny Turk. <laughs> Who were you fighting? Oh, just the usual Germans. <laughs> and what about uh, May wearing? Well, he wasn't fighting anybody, you see. He was on the uh, army of occupation after the war. <laughs> <laughs> As I suspected. No wonder he never read out those orders. Hasn't got any medals. He didn't want the other chaps to wear their medals, dog in the manger. You see, if nobody else is wearing their medals, no one will know that he hasn't got any medals. Doesn't want to be shown up. Yes, I see. But I wonder if you're right. Of course I'm right, my dear fellow. Of course I'm right. Now listen to this. Isn't it? Yes. Tonight, when you dismiss this parade, yes. you'll read out that order loud and clear. Yes. You understand? Yes, of course. Good. Carry on, Parkins. All right, sir. Right, right. Now, that's an order. That's an order. An yes, order. 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 Good night. Good night. All right, sir. Right. Yes. All decorations and medals will be worn, signed Captain Square. Pompous idiot. <laughs> He's a little boy that's had a claw. Ah, sir. Uh, well. The men are sort of uh, lined up on parade, sir, if you'd care to cast an eye over them. Cast an eye over them? <laughs> They're not a balance sheet, Wilson. They're a trained fighting unit. Right, sir. And you're supposed to be their sergeant. For heaven's sake, pull yourself together, Wilson. Get your shoulders back and your chin in. Stand up like a man. Is that better? Not really, no. Pity! <laughs> The two ready for inspection, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Very smart, Corporal. Who gave you permission to wear those medals? Sergeant Wilson ordered me, say. In addition, he ordered them to wear theirs as well as also. <laughs> what are you up to? I beg your pardon? You're trying to undermine my authority? Not at all, sir. It was a battalion order and I merely passed it on. That was all. I see. You've not heard the last of this, Wilson. See me in the office after the parade. All right. <laughs> are you entitled to all that ironmongery? <laughs> That's not iron, sir. That there's the Kadif star, sir. That was personally presented to me by the Kadif in Egypt in the first Sudanese campaign, sir. 
I want you to understand, sir, that in that campaign we were not fighting the Egyptians. They was on our side, sir. And they was fighting the Mad Mahdi. And he was fighting General Gordon. So that meant that we was fighting the Mad Mahdi. Because General Gordon was on the same side as us. <laughs> he was being British, you see, sir. You follow me so far, sir? Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> That there's the Queen Sudan medal, sir. That was presented to me as the second Sudanese campaign against the Mad Mahdi, sir. Yeah, it's very interesting. I haven't come to the exciting bit yet. Oh, later, later, later. <laughs> is that an authentic decoration? Or is it some foreign thing? <laughs> that, sir, is the Polar Medal from the Shackleton Expedition. Really? A wild and lonely place it was. <laughs> Nothing for the eye to behold but ice and snow. So they made the ribbon white. Very appropriate. And what is your not wearing your medals, Captain Mandy? Did he leave them at home? No talking in the ranks, Fraser. Mr. Speaker, sir. Oh. So that Mad Mahdi, what we was fighting in the second Sudanese campaign, is not the same Mad Mahdi as what we fought in the first campaign. <laughs> that was his son, what he begat. <laughs> I see, thank you. Yes, sir. In, in my opinion, sir, he wasn't mad at all, but you know how people talk. Don't yes, you? yes, they do. Mind you, he was mad enough the day he had his horse shot from under him. <laughs> he was madder that day, I reckon. It, he was madder than the first mad mad he was that day, sir. <laughs> but I mustn't keep you, sir. Got your work to do. <laughs> I thought you didn't approve of wearing these things, Godfrey. Uh, well, it was an order, sir, and I didn't want to upset you by appearing bare-breasted. <laughs> you wouldn't have upset me, I can assure you. They came up quite nicely, hadn't they? My sister Dolly had a go at them with powdered chalk and, and vinegar. Mind you, uh, lemon juice would have been better, but we couldn't get any lemons. <laughs> Thank you, I'll bear that in mind. What's all that rubbish? <laughs> My scout badges. <laughs> Badges. Yes. Th that, that's my tender foot. <laughs> that's knots and splices. First aid, fire making, and that one's elementary tracking. That one. <laughs> Get them off as soon as this parade's over. Well, I didn't want to put them on. No, it was my mum. She, she said if Uncle Arthur, Sergeant Wilson, was going to show off, I got to show off as well. Yes, well, fortunately, Sergeant Wilson has more sense. Oh, Wilson, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm entitled to them. You're not entitled to get dressed while I'm inspecting the troops. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a musical comedy, you know. <laughs> get that off. Yeah, hang on, Mr. Mannering. That's a sacred order of the Golden Chris of Abu Dhabi. Given to you by the Sheik of Arabi, I suppose. <laughs> now, as a matter of fact, he was a sheik. And he had 34 wives. And he was staying in this posh hotel in Park Lane. Now, I was on the all-pool to start at the time, you see. And uh, one day, uh, he hadn't brought any of his wives with him. So this Prime Minister, he comes up to me, he was an Arab and all, and he says, here, listen, can you fix him up with a bird? So I says, well, I don't know, I'll see what I can do. So I gets on the blower, I gets on the blower to a friend of mine, and he was very grateful. He gave me this, a kiss on both cheeks and ten quid. <laughs> I can't stand any more of this. <laughs> Wilson, dismiss this parade and see me in the office. All right, sir, right. Well, uh, pay attention, will you please? I, I would like to say on behalf of Captain Mannering and myself how very grateful we are for the trouble that you have taken in your appearance in this parade tonight. Well, you, sir! You all look absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, same place tomorrow, and do please try and get here at the right time. Will you do that? <laughs> Wilson, get oh, here! Right. <laughs> Shut the door. Come here. <laughs> How dare you? I beg your pardon? How dare you go over my head in this underhand fashion? Well, there's no need to make such a fuss about it, sir. I mean, after all, it was a battalion order and I merely passed it on, that was all. It was in my pending drawer. Yes, I know it was. Would well, you have no authority to rummage in my pending drawer? No, but you see, sir. Oh, blimey, typical English summer, isn't it? What the hell do you want? Oh, and happy Christmas to you, too. <laughs> well, do you mind not dripping all over my part two orders? Oh, oh sorry. I do not approve of these metals sprawling across everybody's chest. It's this war that counts, not the one before or the one before that. What's the matter? Didn't I give you any? Ah, we're not discussing me. In fact, I'm not discussing anything at all with you. Get out of my orderly room. Just a minute. This is a vicar's office, and he gives me permission to hang my hat in here any time I choose. He wants to get some service in, don't he? 
And another thing, I've got a lecture in here tonight, so keep your voice down. What a common man he is. Oh, I know. He's <laughs> absolutely awful. Nevertheless, you know, he was with us in the last lot. What do you mean? Well, he was wearing his 1418 medals. That's just the sort of thing I don't approve of. Gallantry is one thing. But issuing these bits of brass for any tin pot campaign just because people were there, this makes a mockery of the whole thing. Well, I, I wouldn't... <laughs> Good lady, Mr. Mannering, would you have any objection if I have a ferry to Nivica's drawers? <laughs> you have to do it now. I'm rather busy. He wants his medals for Sunday parade. I think they're in the top left. Ah, oh, here they are. Pip, Squeak and Wilfred. <laughs> They'll set his surplus off a treat when he's conducting the community hymn singing. Oh, I see. That's precisely what I mean. What on earth did he do to earn those? Sing two verses of Rock of Ages in a French field? <laughs> and they came up with the rations? Well, there's no harm done, so, you know, I think it's really rather marvellous when we have parades like this and people like Captain Square can go striding out of the head of their platoon with their gongs waving in the breeze. Oh, yes, he'll love every second of it. On the other hand, it can't be quite so much fun for those of us who, uh, well, who haven't got any medals. How do you mean? Well, well, well like uh, Private Pike, you see. You're dismissed, Sergeant Wilson. Right. Go and polish your medals up for Sunday. Right. <laughs> You've got to polish your cap badge. I said you were dismissed! Oh. <laughs> well, well, there we stood, face to face. My eyes looking into his eyes and his eyes looking into my eyes. Then I saw his eyes flicker and I pressed home my advantage. I asked him, <laughs> all innocent like, how do you know where in your medals got money? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I knew all the time that, that he had none to wear. <laughs> oh, wished, man, wished. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see everybody's face when he turns up in front of the whole battalion. We no medals. I can't a worm out of this. To every man that sins comes nemesis. Oh. The bogeyman. Yeah. You know, I can't help feeling sorry for Captain Mannering. I mean, after all, it's not his fault he's got no medals, is it? Ah, oh, it's a perfect disgrace, man. Us being led by a man with nothing up here. Mind you, he's got nothing up here either, but... We have to take our medals down, you know. Uh, uh, then Mr Manry will feel so out of it. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Fall the men in, Sergeant, please. Uh, <laughs> Fall the men in. Right. Uh, would you mind? Uh, would, you, would you mind doing that, please? Oh. Just, just, just fall in, please. Quick, if you can. I have a very important announcement to make to the platoon. Oh, what's that, sir? All in good time, Wilson. All right, sir. Platoon. Platoon, attention. <laughs> Try and get it right, Jonesy. <laughs> You're ready for inspection, sir. <laughs> Stand easy. A very smart man, very smart. Credit to the platoon. Uh, unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Owing to circumstances beyond my control, I shan't be able to with you, be with you on the parade this morning. My... Uh, my dear lady wife, knowing that this was a very important parade, sent my uniform to the cleaners. <laughs> and she didn't tell me this until uh, we were sitting down to lunch yesterday, Saturday. Well, I dashed around once, of course, but as you know, the cleaners shut at lunchtime on Saturdays, and unfortunately, I was too late. Had I had a second uniform, of course, it would have been a different matter. Come on, Pike, fall in, you're very late. Yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Mannering. Mm. I've got something for you. Oh, yes, what's that? Yes, well, on my way home from the bank yesterday lunchtime, I had to call in the cleaners and pick up something, and I saw your uniform hanging there, so I brought it for you. <laughs> it's two and three. <laughs> yes, well, thank you very much indeed, Pike. It's very kind of you, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't help. There isn't time to change. Well, the parade's not till ten o'clock, sir. I mean, you've got twenty minutes, and we don't mind waiting for you. Do we? No, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm 
light-hearted, gay kind of charm you display. That's for me. A wonderful, sly little trick with your eyes. Three hours That's a bit of one and three. Oh, thank you, Shirley. No, no, I have this with me, Walker. Oh, thank you, sir. Be careful for a drink, Virgil. It's my round. That's very civil of you, sir. Make it a lemonade shandy. And not too much beer, Shirley. Mustn't forget it's the Lord's Day. Oh, the Lord's Day, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Vicar? Oh, how very kind. I'll have a double scotch, please. <laughs> <laughs> a double scotch as well, Shirley. Please. If you're in the chair, I'll have a double scotch and all. I don't think I extended the invitation to you. <laughs> Colonel? <laughs> Colonel? Yeah? You uh, care for a drink with number one platoon? No, thanks. Square here has lined them up for us. Make it a single for his reverence. He's a martyr to it, you know. Zine? We don't want a scene, do we? No. No, of course not. Shirley, make that a single, will you? Well, Mainwaring, did you enjoy the parade? Yes. Thought it was a very smart turnout, didn't you? Yes, indeed. Uh, sorry you chaps were behind us. We couldn't uh, see your drill. But we heard them, didn't we? Oh, yes, 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 we heard them. Late, eh? <laughs> yes, well, unfortunately, the wind was blowing away from us. Some of us had difficulty in hearing the word of command. Yeah. I think some of you had difficulty in marching. <laughs> oh, oh, just yes, ignore him, Wilson. That's what I was, actually. So, I yeah. tell you what, Mayway. <laughs> Next time we have a parade like this, you must, you must ask the Colonel here if your chaps can do it in bath chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 that's not fair. Captain Mannering was striding out like a two-year-old. Yes, he was. I thought you really looked awfully smart, sir. Of course, sir. Uh, he didn't have as much weight to carry as you, Captain Square. <laughs> Him not having any medals, like. When Hitler arrives, it'll be fighting officials in the counts. We know he's waving medals in his face. Well, it'll be a damn sight better than waving your pension books. <laughs> <laughs> My men can wipe the floor with yours any day. They're fitter. They're a damn sight better trained and much, much more they're better led. Here, here. Yeah. <laughs> That's fighting talk, ain't it, Colonel, eh? <laughs> we can outshoot you, outthink you, and run rings round you. Because we're not stifled with old fashioned ideas and Colonel Blimp mentality. Yeah. You tell him, Mr. Manning, go on, tell him. Do you mean wearing? You will prove that or apologise? Well, I certainly won't apologise, and we can't prove it till the Bosch arrive. We don't have to wait for that, you know. There's always the battle course, the field firing range. And we can easily think up some initiative tests. Damn good idea. I accept. How about you, Mainwaring? You going to accept or are you backing down? We're not what? backing down. Of course we're not. I want to see this here. Can I be an umpire, Colonel? I mean, I'm civil defence. I won't be biased, will I? <laughs> the virgin and I will be umpires as well. And the fact that you've only bought me a single scotch will have no effect on my judgment whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course we accept. All right, all right. Now, I have only one condition to make, and that is that every man who took part in the parade today takes part in the test. Sounds fair to me, Mannery. Yes, all right. I think it's very fair. Don't you, Wilson? Yes, I do. I think it's very fair indeed. Very fair indeed, yes. Just means we'll lose, that's all. <laughs> Pay attention, everyone. Pay attention, pay attention there. Pay attention! <laughs> I have paid an attention, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Well, now, the details of the tests against the Eastgate platoon are to hand, and we can now put you in the picture. Now, I've no doubt you'll agree that you hear quite enough of my voice. Here, here. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to ask Sergeant Wilson to brief you. Will you carry on, Sergeant, please? Thank you very much, sir. Do you think I could borrow your little stick? <laughs> Certainly not. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, now, <clears throat> both platoon commanders will start here in their platoon vans. Well, tell them right. about the map references. Beg your pardon? The map references. Yes, all right. I was going to. I was going to. Now, before the start, both platoon commanders will be given a map reference, and we have to get there and to find the place as quickly as we can. Right? Using maps, of course. Beg your pardon? Using maps. Yes, sir, I should have thought that was rather obvious. Oh, nothing is obvious, Sergeant. No, of course it isn't. Carry on, please. Yes, quite. Well, no. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Where did I get to? Practically nowhere. No, well, you, 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 you can't interrupt it, actually. It's very difficult for me to, to, to follow Initi the thread of the Initiative thing. test. Right, initiative test. Right. Now, here we get to point B. Point B here. Where we shall all be given our initiative tests. 
Right? Excuse me, Uncle yes. Sergeant. Yes. In... <laughs> In what type of form will the initiative tests be put? Yes, well, that's Perhaps quite... I'd better answer that question. Naturally, we don't know the form the initiative tests will take. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to use our initiative, would we? Thank you very much. <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> well, also, can I go on now? Carry on. Right, thank you, Mother. Uh, we then cross the river here, and then we double uh, across the battle cross there. And then we fire five rounds of ammunition at the target. Live ammunition, of course. Yes, of course, live ammunition at the target. Then we rush across to the tar here. Then we climb up onto the roof and run out the platoon flag which uh, uh, Private Walker has most kindly had made for us. And oh, it. by the way, they came to three quid. Huh? Oh. <laughs> three pound? It's a bit stiff, isn't it? You were lucky. I charge Eastgate platoon a fiver for making theirs. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, the first platoon, of course, to run their flag out onto the pole um, will be the winners. Now, is that all quite clear? Yes, yes. Come on, sir. Mm. I foresee one wee snag. Oh, what's that? While we're rushing here and there and running the flag up the pole, old Godfrey will still be trying to climb out of the van. <laughs> come, come. That's a bit of an exaggeration, isn't it? No, it's no exaggeration. It's plain for all to see. The man's decrepit. No, no offence. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I'm not as agile as I was, and my feet are rather bad, but I, I'm very determined. Don't you worry, Mr Godfrey. We'll help you. Yeah, yeah we'll take care of you. He's a millstone round our necks, and you all know it. It's folly to take him with us, sheer folly. Yes, well, I'm afraid there's nothing to be done about it now, Fraser. He was on the parade, therefore he must go on the tests. Must he? It's my opinion if it one spark of loyalty to the rest of us, he'd break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, my old friend. It's just, I'm speaking for the good of the platoon, you understand? He right? can't go around breaking legs at his age. Well, finger wouldn't be so serious. No, finger's no good. It can still walk with his arm in a sling. No, it has to be a leg. I will to help in any way, any way possible. Good, that's it then. The only question is how. Oh, sit down and don't be ridiculous, Fraser. <laughs> Mr. Speak, sir. Yes, please. In Victorian times gone past, sir, Dr. Livingston, another exploring gentleman, used to be carried on a chair between two poles. I don't mean poles the people, you know, sir. They didn't have them in Africa. <laughs> I mean bamboo poles, sir. And four strong native chaps used to carry these gentlemen in these chairs. And I suggest we carry Mr. Godfrey in that manner. Who's going to carry you? <laughs> don't stop. Oh, 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. As a matter of fact, I think that's a very good idea. Don't you, Wilson? Yes, I do. I do indeed. He's really rather quaint. Right. <laughs> Put that in hand, will you? Yes, I will. Yes. Right. That disposes of the Godfrey embarrassment. No, no offence, Godfrey. You know, that's what I like about this platoon. We have very agile minds, which enable us to surmount all our difficulties. We're going to run rings around that Eastgate mob and send them home with their tails between their legs. Are you all with me? Yes. yes. Right, that's all. Smith. I still think of Godfrey's will. Right, now listen. The vicar here will read out the map reference once. You will then write it down and run back to your vehicle. The verger will then give you a signal to start. <laughs> right, vicar? Now, I shall only read this once, so you must listen very carefully. Are you ready? Don't get on with it. Don't you start, Mannering. Right. Here we go. And the map reference is... <laughs> 629, 571. Right, right. Come on. It is. Get on. Do you mind if I put my arms round you, Mr. Hodges? <laughs> He's 
gate platoon. Turn to the right. Are you sure you're going the right way, Fraser? Of course I am. If you think you can do any better, feel perfectly welcome to try. Can't we go any faster, Jones? We're doing 28 miles an hour. What more do you want? I beg your pardon. What is it, Goffin? Uh, do you think I might be excused? Certainly not. <laughs> Get your head inside at once. Are you sure we can't go any faster, Jones? Get your foot hard on the floorboards. I've got me foot on the floorboard. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? What is it? <laughs> Jones, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Mr. Spinkton, sir. What is it? I'm afraid I've got the old double back again. What? What's that? What's that? What? <laughs> Malaria! Oh, oh. Stop the man at once! <laughs> All right, stay where you are, Jones. Yeah, stay where you are. Stay there. Medics! Medics! One, two, three, out, two, three, out! What are they doing? What are they doing? Well, you get three blasts on your whistle. I thought it was a signal to open fire. No, nothing of the sort. I want the medics. Get the medics. The medics, the medics. What? Godfrey, go and get Godfrey. Why not say so? God, it's perfectly simple. What's that, Mr. Bannery? It's Jones. He's got an attack of malaria. Get him out, you two. Sponge, you go around the other side. He won't let go of the steering wheel, Mr. Manry. Medics! Medics! <laughs> Get all of his wrists. Sponge, you push. He just doesn't look, 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 look too good, good, good to me, Mr. Manry. I don't feel too good, Mr. Manry. Don't worry, son. I'll look off, 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 here. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been? I'm sorry, sir. As we'd stopped, I took the opportunity of being excused. We on hand at all times. Well, what's the matter, sir? Jones has got a bout of malaria. Have you got anything we can give him? I don't know. Oh, oh yes, sir. I've got, I've got some aspirin, yeah. and I can't lift a soda. Uh, yeah, and some ointment for wasp stings. Wasp stings? <laughs> this is a fighting unit, not a girl guides outing. <laughs> what did you do if one of us was wounded? Quenin, sir! Well, that's what we need, a bottle of quenin. And he should be kept warm. You're quite right, Fraser. Get some more blankets. Oh, well. Have you got any quenin? Uh, oh, no, sir. But, uh, I got a, a bottle of tonic wine. My, my <laughs> sister Dolly swears by it. <laughs> All right, let's let <laughs> Here, Jones. Drink this. Hold him, he's spilling it. <laughs> right, crack him up. Put I him in the back. Don't worry about me, sir. I've had these to attack for the last of for 40 years. It's super p p p p p Pass. What on earth's the matter with Jonesy, Frank? He's got malaria, Uncle Arthur. What? You know, like Leslie Banks in Sanders of the River. Oh, right. <laughs> All well, those terrible drums. Wilson. Pike. Walker. Get him in the back of the van. Yes, get him in the back. Who's your Who's going to drive? No, Mr. Manning. I am. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Uh, do you think that's wise, sir? Don't argue. Just get in. Right. <laughs> Right, stand by. No, oh, not now. <laughs> Another way half a mile and we turn left. Thank you, Phil. Excuse me, Mr. Mannering. Yes, what is it, Mike? Jones has turned yellow. Get some more blankets on him. More blankets, right. Don't you think we ought to get him to a doctor, sir? No, 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 we'd lose the race if we did that. Besides, he says he's had these attacks before. It'll wear off. Coming up to the tunnel very soon, no, sir. Ah, oh, sweet. What do you think? Oh, we just passed a dear little cottage, sir, with a thatch roof and roses round the door, just like Snow White's. <laughs> Never mind gawping at the cottage. Just keep your eye on the road. Oh, right, sir, right, sir, yes. Excuse me, Mr. Mannering. Yes? Mr. Jones isn't yellow anymore. Good, good. No, he's turned purple. Good. <laughs> what? He looks like a beetroot. Well, get some more blankets on him. Oh, yes. More. Turn left here, sir. That's it. Where's all that steam coming from? Do you think the engine's overheating, sir? Not coming from the engine. No. What's going on back there? Uh, Mr. Jones is steaming, sir. Steaming? <laughs> the condensation is running down the wall. Best thing for him. Let him sweat it out. Give him plenty of drink. Oh, well, there's a bit of tonic wine. He's done half of that already. Well, give him the other half. This is an emergency. Uh, next turning on the left. Coming up, sir. 
What do you say? Well, we just passed that dear little Snow White's cottage again. So oh, thanks. <laughs> what? Yes. That means we're going around in a circle. Oh, Lord, is it? Wait a This is your fault, Fraser. What are you doing? God, shout at me. We're going to all make mistakes. Hey, Mr. Munry, these great vans coming up behind us. <clears throat> this is you, Fraser. Thanks to your bungling, the catching is up. How do you expect me to read a map properly with all your jerky driving? I don't want any insubordination, Fraser. Take his name, Sergeant. I know it. <laughs> He's trying to get past us. He won't get past me. Yes, you did. I heard it quite plainly. But fortunately, the noise of the engine stopped it reaching his reverence's ears. <laughs> He's getting awfully far ahead, Uncle Arthur. Couldn't we continue this conversation some other time? I'm making a protest, Wilson. Now, look here, Vicar. I'm sorry, Mr. Maverick. We're only here as umpires to see fair play. Drive out, Mr. Hodges. Water over it. We haven't got a bucket of water, you blithering idiot. What the? Come back! Get yourself a horse! Why are we stopped? We're well ahead of them. We're going to be a lot further ahead, Fraser. Listen. See the sheep in that field? Sheep? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I want you to take Fraser and the rest of the men, and drive those sheep through the bottom gap so that they fill the road behind us. I'd like to see Square get through that lot. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be all right now, sir. Well done, Sergeant. Get in. They can't be far away. Turn round. Now they've gone the other 
Initiative tests. <laughs> Mr. Hodges, uh, carry on. Where's Jones? Well, they're bringing him as fast as they can. <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> right now, Mr. Manning, I, my malaria is completely subsidized. <laughs> I took one bottle of Mr. Godfrey's wine and I'm a new man. I mean, you good man. man. She's got <laughs> oh, one. Right, pay attention, please. Pay attention, you man. And now this you is your first you initiative test. Are you listening, Mannering? Right. Just read it out. That's all you've got to do. I am in... Shake charger in Wilson. You're responsible for it. Why should I be held responsible for the hey, Don't talk. Hey, right. hey, oh, hey, oh, man. Can I have some attention, please, hey, if you hey, don't hey, mind? Hey, oh, hey, now, attention. Shh. Now, over here, the verger, as old as 24 balloons. <laughs> when I say go, he will release all 24 balloons. You will then fix bayonets and you will burst each and every one of those balloons before moving on to your next objective. Right, go! Right, come on in. Fix bayonets and charge! <laughs> Are you a member of this platoon? Well, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> then burst these blasted balloons. <laughs> and we like to shoot them. They are not gonna. Ha! 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 Ha!
Don't go in, Mr. Manry. We're not offering any resistance. Stupid boy. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Manry, I got it. <laughs> Jones. Good heavens. What do you mean, good heavens? Good heavens. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're, you're supposed to do that with your bandage. I'm not going to do it you, and I'll do you with a bandage. <laughs> Attention, you as well. Now, this tank here is full of feathers. Now you've got to take them feathers and put them in them barrels over there. Get ready. Go. <whistles> Come on, Godfrey. Hurry up. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Barry, like a Jewish. I'm oh. good at this. <laughs> Oh, no good. I've got it. Fill your caps and stuff some feathers inside your tunics. What's the matter? No, not now. Mr. Mary, the conclusion of this case, you, you could spare me for a moment? Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> You've had some damn silly ideas, you Fraser, but this is the damn silly. Yes, sir, Fraser, there's no way to talk to an officer. Clark, chop the work, man. Flying everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Mannery. Yes, Pike. <laughs> no, don't waste my time, Pike. <laughs> If I may say so, sir, this isn't working awfully well. Have you any better suggestions? <laughs> Mr. Mannery? Yes. <laughs> no, don't keep doing that. Perhaps we've got a lot of bags. <laughs> That's a very good idea, yes. We'll use trousers and tie up the legs. <laughs> take your trousers off. I will not take them. <laughs> take your trousers off. Well, why should I be the one to have to take my trousers off? Because you're to set an example. Right, trousers off, everyone. Why can't you set an example? <laughs> just, just, just use your toes. Right, stuff the, stuff the feathers down in trousers. <laughs> Over to the tank, fill the barrels there, then take the barrels back there. Now look, Pike, one more stupid suggestion from you and I. That's a very good idea. Bring the barrels over to the tank! <coughs> Mr. Hodges. Our square's mob getting on. They're still carrying the feathers by hand. Marriage not will win by miles at this rate. Will they? We'll soon see about that. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, Marin's lot of winning. They'll be here in a minute. Yeah, I'll soon cook his goose. What are you going to do? I'm going to pull the plug out. Right, hurry up. Get in. Hey, hey. You can't get in that boat. Why not? It's the wrong one. 
That's your boat over there. I'll get in any boat I like. Now, look, just mind your own business. No, I, I insist you get in that other boat. You really are being the most frightful bore this morning. Please, Mr. Mannering, please get in the other boat. <laughs> I think he's gone off his head. He always was a bit strange, you know. Hurry up, Godfrey. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> now, I want to see this boat skip across the water. That's going to be a wee bit difficult, sir. Why? You've not that tied it yet. Then do for that castle. Come on. That's it. Right. Now, come along, men. In you get. Oh, oh, don't get in that boat, Captain Square. I'll pull the plug out. Yo. Oh, what do you want to do that for? Well, Manry's lot were winning. I try to stop them. What? Oh, I did it for you, sir. I did it for you, sir. Slithering <coughs> idiot. Ah, look. There's another boat on that bank over there. Row over in that dinghy and get it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of oh, course, sir. Certainly, sir. Sergeant, where are you? Where are you? Sergeant! Ah, there you are. What have you been doing? I took the plug out of that dinghy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> <It's good. laughs> I'm afraid it doesn't, sir. Oh. Don't you want it, Captain Square? A few minutes ago, you were only too proud of it. This one's for you, Napoleon. Sign of Captain Square, sir. Looks as if we won, Wilson. When your men have finished mannering, all you have to do is to run to the top of the tower and haul your flag out. Very good, sir. Why are you shaking like that, Jones? Hmm? Not got another attack of malaria, have you? No, sir. I always fire like this, sir. That's why I prefer the bayonet. Well, get on with it. Well, come on, we've all finished. Have me the flag, Wilson. Flag? What flag? The platoon flag, of course. But you didn't say anything about bringing a flag. I distinctly remember telling you to bring the flag. I sir. have it, sir. Ah, well done, Fraser. Ah, I've finished, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Finish firing, sir. Well, off you go, then. Yes, sir. Godfrey, you stay here. The rest of you, follow me. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Mannering. Come on, hurry up. These get Mama hard on our heels. It's the rhythm that gets you understanding it. One more, one more flight. I'd quite definitely pass that. Sure you know how to do that, Pike? Yes, Mr. Mannering. There's supposed to be a loop in the rope to take the toggle on the flag. Well, if there's a loop, it must be here somewhere. Mr. Mannering. The trouble with you, boy, you've no drive. Mr. Mannering. Ah, oh, here we are. Here's a loop. There you are. Mr. Mannering, Mannering, you pulled the loop out of the pulley at the end. <laughs> Any more insubordination like that from you, and I shall complain personally to your mother. No, we are supposed to fly the flag, but we can't without pulling the pole in. I'm going to sit down, fix it. I'm going to do. I'm going to shin out, and then I'm going to shin back again. Wilson, get him back. I can't stop him. Mr. Manorin! Mr. Manorin! What is it? That tonic wine's absolutely marvellous! Oh. Come back!
back here at once. It's not safe. Uh, don't worry about me, Mr. Manning. I'm as agile as a monkey. I'm as agile as a monkey. See, the man's a fool. Damn brave one. It's my opinion it doesn't just to create an impression. Mr. Manning, Mr. Manning. Yes. I've reached the end. What shall I do? <laughs> Thread the rope through the pulley. Yes, but what rope? <laughs> the rope that this flag is attached to. Well, where is it? It's here. It's here. What? What's it doing here, boys? <laughs> <Down there. laughs> Mr. Manorin, throw it to me. What? Godfrey, get a blanket. I don't need a blanket. I'm not cold. It's for if you fall. <laughs> I won't be cold if I fall, will I? You will when you hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here it comes. Oh, Mr. Manning, can't you throw it any nearer? What do you think I'm trying to do? Yeah, let me have a try. Uh, Did he miss this? You silly old twitter. <laughs> Now a bit to the right. Bit to the right. right. Left side. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Mr. Manorin. Yes. I think that wine's going to me head. Everything's going sideways. <laughs> Thread the rope through the pulley and get back here as quickly as you can. Yeah, right, oh, Mr. Manorin. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's come on. We won. Oh, <laughs> the camel of an eye of a needle. <laughs> Come back here. Yes, all right, Mr. Manning, I'll be back in a minute. Come on, man, hurry up. They haven't got their flag up yet. Ah. Mr. Manning, Mr. Manning. Yes. I've got it. I've got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Get back. Right. Come on, then. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, and you've got me top set out then. <laughs> there we are, Mr. Manning. Put it over the other side. Right, That's it. Down. That's all right, Mr. You oh! Are... Oh, oh, Mr. Manning, you saved my life again. You're always doing that. Oh, you deserve a kiss for that. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, it's starting the game, Mr. Manning. It's starting the game. Come on, get the flag up, man. Put your jackets over it. Don't get some blankets for All right, get some right. Blankets. more tonic wine, more tonic wine. Come, Manning. Come, Manning. Come, Manning. Look, look. What the devil's going on here? Bad luck, being wearing. You've lost. We were here first. Aha. But you didn't get your flag out, did you? And it's the flag that counts. It's number one platoon's flag. Mannering's won. I shall make a formal protest about this. I tell you, we were here first. I but uh, it's our flag that's flying. What? what? You blithering idiot! You've flown their flag. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one you gave me, sir. Being wearing. What is the meaning of this skull duggery? It means you've lost. By Jove, I'm going to have a word with the colonel about this, you know. I've got the most ghastly suspicion you're a rank outsider. Ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 I forgot that flag. Chuck yes. it over, dude. Yes, I will. Uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do. No, I wouldn't what? do that if I were you, Mr. Wilson. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's our flag. That's our flag. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> now, you, you see what happened? You see, you see what happened was that I made a flag for us, and it wasn't quite up to standard, so I made another one, and I must have got the other one mixed up with their platoon's flag. Hey, oh, what a terrible mistake to have made. <laughs> Walker, I don't believe one word you've said. No, I didn't think you would. <laughs> anyway, it was an initiative test. And it, it? is for you, it's an initiative, sir. Yeah. Now, I think you all know me well enough to understand that I don't approve of this sort of thing. I think you behave very badly in this matter. Yes, yes, sir. And if any of you others are party to this, I want you to know that you've incurred my severe displeasure. Yes. <laughs> the same, I'm, I'm damn glad we won. <laughs> 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 <laughs>